Okay, so you guys can see I'm starting to stack up on items a bit, and I don't have much space left for future items. Can't just keep holding everything on me, so I'm going to need to bank. Okay, I'm going to need to put my items away, and this is a lot simpler than it seems. Right now I'm in Barak, which is the second city you will probably visit after Lumbridge. And you can see here on my minimap that I've got one and two banks, okay? So we got the West Bank and the East Bank. There's banks all over the place. There's banks in pretty much every major city several times over. Uh, there's a bank way up here in the Grand Exchange as well when you're merchanting. I'm just going to go ahead and pick any one. They're all the same. They're all connected. You'll be able to pick up your items from any one of them. So deposit here. Pick up in Lumbridge or Falador or the Grand Exchange or wherever you want. What you do is you just walk right up to one of these bank tillers, find behind the bank booth there, you right click and hit bank, and your bank interface will open up. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and just dump everything in there. You just right click and hit deposit all, or you can left click to individually deposit them. Some items will not bank, like this lamp. Uh, which is a members only item so I'll probably just drop it in a bit and I'm just gonna go ahead and deposit everything I got that way I have some room to go ahead and do some future quests and I'll show you here what else you can do with the bank system there's a few things you need to know you see they stack up here okay so if you ever need to just dump your equipment in here without de-equipping it all, you can always just click the little armor icon up here and just remove the bank, remove the bank, simple as that. If you wanted to add tabs to organize, you could say I want to do a range tab. You just drag an item up there and the first item in that tab will be the um, the tabs icon. You can create of quite a few of these, uh, several of them to fill up here. See, I want one for mining materials and I want one for magic. And I could just go ahead and drag the items here to the tab. Or I could click on the tab to view it individually. Simple as that, very easy. We've got a note form. So you can see I had sardines in note form. I can withdraw them all. Now they're back in note form. I can deposit them. This button right here is the switch to note withdraw mode. If I turn it off, I can withdraw them regularly. What notes do is they allow you to carry the items stacked up that wouldn't normally stack up uh, between banks. And you can uh, basically carry around large amounts of items this way. So you don't have to just carry around the 28 fish. You can carry around thousands of them. You can't eat them while they're in note form, but you can sell them and deposit them. Uh, there's a few more options down here. You can see we got you can search your bank with the name of the item, which I never use. Uh, you can open up preset setup menu. You can do presets here. You can dump your entire backpack, your entire uh, armor set, your your summoning beasts items, and you can also empty your money into there. So you can see I've emptied my money. Uh, I don't know why people put their money away, but you can. <laughs> I just usually keep it on me. Uh, in old RuneScape, you had to carry it around, but now it just automatically uh, enters your currency, so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, I'm going to show you to do a bank pin. This is very important. You're going to want to set a pin always. Yes, make sure it's something you remember, and it's going to be a four-digit pin and you're going to get this little interface here with the numbers let's go ahead and just I'll set up a bogus pin here to show you how to do it let's choose the numbers 5959 five, so I'm going to hit 5959 five, you can see they switch around now we'll do it again 5959 five, nine. that's for verification the second time and it says pin coming soon so I'll be able to get it probably within the next couple of days here and what will happen is that whenever I try to get into my bank it'll ask me for a pin right now it doesn't do it but in the next couple of days when it activates 
a little screen will show up just like that last one. And I'll have to put in the four digit PIN before I can access the bank account. It's an additional level of authentication that comes uh, along with the uh, bank account. It's been in place in RuneScape for quite a while. It's a great idea. And it keeps, you know, uh, random players who might be able to hack you from getting into your account and stealing your stuff. Of course, your inventory is wide open, but your bank account can be safe. And there's another option for the bank. You'll see when you right click them, I'll show you up here when we get here. And you can see there's some bank icons, the little dollar symbol, right up here in the ground exchange as well. And this is where you, you see as a banker, you can talk to them, which gives you all the options in a dialog box, which I don't suggest. And also collect. When you collect banker, it'll open up this collection box screen. You can collect to pretty much any banker. Uh, and what happens is if you buy or sell items on the Grand Exchange, you'll be able to come here to collect the money or the item. Uh, you can collect it all at the bank, you can collect it all the inventory, very simple. If you want to learn how to do the Grand Exchange, uh, I'm sure I'll post a video to it. If I ever get around to it, I'll post a link to it right over here. If you don't see that link right there, then I haven't posted the video yet. But keep an eye on my channel. And that's pretty much banking, guys. Very simple. Uh, I hope I've gone over everything. If you have any more questions, please be sure to leave them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.